Coach, I can't remember the last time I exercised. How do I get started without leaving the couch? Well, yeah, pushing the buttons on a remote doesn't necessarily count as exercise. Right. Well, you clearly know that you need to exercise um, because you're here, so what's the stuck? Well, I try to exercise for a week, but then I just kind of can't go and I give up and I stop. All right, so what are you doing? Tell me you exercise. Well, I start with five days in the gym, then I do two five-mile runs, and I do a yoga and Pilates. Well, that's a great recipe for disaster. What? But I'm doing it. Let me call the doc. Hey, doc. Hello, this is Dr. Jones. Yeah, 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 I got Bobby here. Okay, here. Hello? Bobby, uh, people stop going to the gym often after one week due to lack of intrinsic motivation and unrealistic expectations, leading to discouragement and fear of failure. Okay? All right, have a good day. Bye-bye. I don't know what that meant. Look, it means start small, okay? So you need to build a system that's going to allow you to succeed. So do this. Listen. For the next week, set a goal to go to the gym once, max twice, and just get there, right? And then don't do anything else that week. And then the next week, do the exact same thing until that going to the gym once a week or twice a week becomes a habit. And then maybe the third or fourth week, add another day. And that is how you're going to get the repetition to basically build that habit to be successful, okay? Got it. That means I can go back to the couch. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. Get out of my office. Okay.